we speak at last. As I am sure you know, there are many who now cast their gaze upon you, traveler. Or should I say, taken. Some who mean you ill. Some who fear your potential. Then, there are those who command me. They have taken great interest in your accomplishments. It appears you may be just the one we require. I cannot speak of such things in this place. The cursed gaze of our foes is cast upon us here, so I will be brief. Great powers are gathering within the distant lands of the fallen Corvan people, and the Great Eye has decreed that you must play a part, whatever that may be. Will you answer our summons? Will you join me through the portal? Or do the mortal concerns of these people outweigh the calls of fate? I am sorry, I cannot say more here. All you need to know is that you have mutual interests and the same enemies. But if we work together, we can triumph where the individual cannot. Far to the east, beyond mountains and rivers, weeks of travel by foot, a mere instant through an eldritch gate. My masters have granted me the means to return there, but only if accompanied by you. I will not fail in this task. The Oracle of Dreek had foreseen. But are you truly prepared for what's in store for you in this forsaken land? You are in the Corvan Basin, a land ravaged by gods and man alike. A land whose secrets are now coveted by a determined few. As for this camp, this is the Conclave of the Three, a gathering of occultists warlocks and witches that serve the witch gods. Here the three cults set aside their disagreements and join as one against our mutual foes. Foes which threaten your existence as well, I might add. The three have decreed that I seek out worthy allies in our battle against a common foe. 
but are you indeed the one we seek? First, you must prove yourself. Go to the center of the camp before the statues. Kanatha, mistress of the sentinels, awaits you to begin the Eldritch Rites. Conquer whatever horrors assault you from the Eldritch Realm, and we shall have our answer. I have no doubts you will succeed. Kanatha is at the center of Kanatha. Stay out of my way, and we'll get along just fine. So, you are what the Emissary has brought us. Are you prepared for the trials ahead? This should prove... entertaining. <laughs> that would be brief. Serve the three and prosper. Deny them. Sorry, I can't talk. I'm waiting for someone. Come see what's left of my wares. Iron well spent. I do the best I can. Greeting, Seeker! Let me clear your mind of regrets. Perfectly safe illusions. There, traveler. Hey there, traveler. Come see what's left of my wares. A challenge awaits, and a challenger stands. But which will endure? The eye knows the answer. The great guardian commands, and I serve. The Raven spoke of your arrival. Ah. 
A real test of your skills, then. I look forward to seeing you in... action. of Drieg spoke of your arrival. Their mad choir whispers of you marching alongside our forces into the tomb of the Eldritch Sun and emerging triumphant. But even their eyes cannot peer into what I offer. The Shattered Realm is unlike anything mankind has ever witnessed, teeming with wealth and power beyond imagining but also dangers, not unlike those that we face even now on Cairn. But before you can enter this treacherous reality, I must know that you are indeed the one the Oracle speak of. Learn your place within our camp, and we can speak more of the Shattered Realm's mysteries. It is very much a reflection of our own physical reality, but broken and distorted. Whatever entity crafted this realm, it seems it has long vanished, and with its absence, the world crumbles. As far as I know, it, it goes on forever, but as its light fades, so the insatiable darkness consumes it. The deeper you dig, the tougher the opposition may become. Occasionally, you may encounter powerful guardians of the realm, that will seek to stop you. But should you triumph against them, vast wealth awaits. Upon entering the Shattered Realm, you will appear within a shard. The way forward will only open once you've gathered enough souls from its forsaken denizens. I shall keep the way open for you, so that you can return during your current journey. The Shattered Realm is not some playground. It carries great risks, and I must know you are prepared. Speak to the Emissary, earn a right to battle alongside one of the cults gathered here, and we shall speak again. The Emissary warned me of your coming, but whether you may remain here is not a matter of his choosing. I will decide who stays and who dies. Are you prepared to face the trials? Save your questions for the scholars. If you are to survive out here, then you must be tested against the terrors of the Eldritch Realm. Are you prepared to begin or not? Right now, my role here is to determine whether you are worth the risks of bringing into our fold. Now are you ready to begin or not? The emissary was right, as usual. 
You have earned the right to stand among us in the real trials to come. By the blessing of the Covenant, I am the mistress of the Sentinels. Those sworn to guard the interests of the Three and the survival of our people answer to me. They swear their oaths to the gods and to me. Our battle against the fiery fury boiling beneath the sands, of course. A forgotten god stirs. An ancient enemy of mankind threatens to destroy us all. We must rise to face this threat before all is lost. I could hear the battle from here. So then, are you ready to open your eyes to powers beyond imagining? To secrets better left uncovered? Ah yes, ever driven by action. I admire your conviction. The fated hour is nearly upon us. Soon we shall strike as one against our formidable foe. But we cannot act brashly. Precautions must be taken. Each of the cults is preparing in their own way. Speak to the masters of the cults of Bismil, Drieg, and Salile. Learn of their methods and align yourself to one cause. Drelus, Basilla, and Sagon are already expecting you. While we may be allies in this endeavor, the cults do not always uh, see eye to eye on all matters. It is best for the sake of peace that you assist only one of the cults. Do not be concerned, though. The others will not see you as a foe for your decision. Not here. And besides, you may not find all the methods we employ agreeable. Speak to the cult leaders, learn of their ways, and make your choice. When I first stood before the witch gods, I said to them that I shall serve in this life and the next if need be. But I shall only ever serve the three. Not Bismuth, not Drieg, not Salile. And so, I am the Herald of the Gods. The one who spreads their message and finds worthy allies. All the cults look to my guidance. Even the gods have sought my counsel in the past. No promise. Perhaps you would be of value to Celial. It remains to be seen if the emissary was right about you. Celial does not need your help, but that does not mean we cannot benefit one another. Only those willing to make any sacrifice, to go to any ends necessary, are of use to Celial. The world is ripe with power for the taking, if you have the will to claim it. Bismil and Drieg hope to manipulate events to gleam a favorable future. Salil knows that the mighty carve their own future. Cruel? The world is cruel. Salil expects great sacrifice, yes, but in return he gifts us with unfathomable power. What god worshipped in the fallen empire can offer the same. Salil is the youngest of the three, but do not mistake that for weakness. His mastery of the Eldritch Fire is without equal. The very essence of the Eldritch Realm is for him to mold as he sees fit, and he shares this knowledge with his loyal servants. But such power does not come without sacrifice. Some must die so that others can bask in his glory, the ultimate display of loyalty. Weeping spines do not lie. You have come to fragment the memories of the Forgotten, but who will stand by your side? Will you step into the spider's web, or will you kindle the flame? Or perhaps you will weep for the eye that sees all. 
Much purpose flows within you. Allow me to temper that potential. Through the Great Guardian's eyes, we shall divine the true path beyond humanity's struggles. Let the others play with their eldritch toys and arcane spectacles. It falls upon us to strike the balance. The strands of fate have been exposed to his infinite gaze. His wounds weep for our future, just as his reach seeks a path through the calamities that still await. Dreeg is the oldest of the witch gods. He sought to know all, to witness the truth in the fabric of our reality. He cast aside the ancient warnings, threw caution to the wind, and reached beyond the curtain that seeks to blind us of true sight. Even his knowledge and wisdom did not prepare him for what he witnessed. The event changed him irrevocably, and while his mortal eyes were forever blind, so his eldritch eyes had opened. For the first time in his life, Dreeg saw the world for what it truly was, and he saw rot. Dreeg does not distract himself with the folly of mortal pursuits. In the end of all things, we must strike balance. You've been quite a sight since entering our camp. I'm shivering with anticipation for what's next. But will you be at my side? Or would you rather waste your time on the minions of Dreeg and Zalayel? My dear, who needs to see the future when you can manipulate it from the shadows? Zalayel would have you play with fire and get burnt. But Bismiel offers you the true gifts of the Eldritch Realm. Every hound, every raven, every fiend that's ever crossed the Vale can and will serve the Schemer. All are bound within the well. No move can be made without tugging at the strings. Until finally, the spider strikes. Bismiel is like a dreadweave widow. Sultry, manipulative, and deadly. But no, she is not a spider in the physical sense. The schemer takes on many forms, all a means to an end. A pompous oligarch, an unassuming beggar, a seductress. All the faces of Bismiel. If you would ever be so blessed to witness her true form, then you are already dead. A favorite legend among the rabble is that the secrets of the Eldritch Realm were whispered in the goddess's ear by a spider. I believe it happened on a night of fire and passion, of betrayal and lust for power. The Lady of Whispers always gets her way in the end. It was by her machinations that the Empire's Inquisitors spent centuries aimlessly hunting for the Witch God cult, their efforts confounded by the endless weave of decoys and lies. Only a select few are trusted in knowing the span of Bismuel's web. I have the honor of sitting at its center. You've been quite a sight since entering our camp. My dear, then what I've heard is true. You do have some sense to accompany your affinity for carnage. Together, we shall weave a web not even a god can escape. The schemer's web demands my utmost attention. For now, speak to Elaine here at my camp. The Forgotten God stirs within his temple, but plans have been set in motion to see to his destruction. Elaine has heard the Lady's will and knows how to proceed. Speak with her. I am certain that you will not let me down.
So you've chosen to fight under Bismil's banner. A wise decision. In the end, we all serve Bismil's will. You might as well be doing so willingly. To gaze upon Bismil's web is to witness the workings of the gods themselves. The schemer's cunning alone is worthy of reverence, to say nothing of her mastery of the summoning arts. I am blessed to know even a fraction of her vast network. Yes, I have been tasked with the preparations for the upcoming battle, and you will assist me. The Lady of Whispers has decreed that we are to gather powerful essence from the guardians of Corvin temples. They call it blood of the Watchers, though it is not blood in the literal sense. It is pure arcane energy turned solid within the shells of the stone guardians still roaming these lands. Find these infused animated watchers among the ruins of the Karandox and the Temple of Osir to the north and bring me their blood. Don't worry. of Drig spoke of your arrival. Their mad choir whispers of you marching alongside our forces. I do the best I can with what I've got. Serve the three and prosper. Deny them, and 